It's your boy Crypto Blood and welcome to another sponsored review. Today I have Algorand. We're going to go over some of the key details about this new blockchain. And the creators of this blockchain created a new consensus algorithm called Pure Proof of Stake. We're going to get into the details. One of the major key benefits of this Pure Proof of Stake algorithm is that it never forks. So there will never be a fork on this chain. Insane. This is groundbreaking. On top of that, guess what? The founder is the creator of ZK Snarks. I don't think you can get any more <laughs> validity, any more clout than that, people. So this is a serious, serious project we need to take a look at. And if you're interested in it, maybe look into the auction that they have for this particular token. They're doing a Dutch style auction. Again, I'll go into the details of that as well. But man, I am excited about this one here, guys. And you know, mostly because I have a technical background. I went to school for computer science. And I understand what this project is doing here. This is really groundbreaking. They're really taking the whole Byzantine consensus concept and, and bumping it up. It's on steroids, people. There are many benefits over proof of work with this particular algorithm and also proof of stake and not only that they're even doing it better than DPoS which is again one of my favorite type of consensus algorithms so we're gonna really dive deep into this here algorand.com is the website for more information on the token and if you're interested in the actual auction and acquiring some of these tokens you want to go to algorand.foundation that's algoand.com and algoand dot foundation for more details on that again we're going to go over all of that here in a second but i just really am excited about this particular project and most importantly when you're looking into a project you need to look at the team and this team is full of all-stars the founder silvio michele sounds very italian but he's actually french this gentleman is a stellar MIT grad, PhD from MIT. He has uh, won an award in the computer science field that's equivalent to a Nobel Peace Prize. So this guy is serious, people. He created, again, the 0K Knowledge Proof, ZK Snarks. You guys know many of the anonymous coins out there use this type of encryption. And he's the founder or, or creator, I should say, of this type of encryption and in 2017 mr mccalley actually founded algorand a fully decentralized secure and scalable blockchain which provides a common platform for building products and services for borderless economies so this is a more payment type of specific blockchain so this is going to be utilized for those types of interactions e-commerce uh even brick and mortar commerce this is what this is for and what i want to put an emphasis on is that there is no forking with this blockchain something i've never heard of the way it has been designed is just phenomenal and on another level it's definitely uh blockchain 3.0 you may even want to call it blockchain 4.0 and so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details with this project again you can check out algorand.com for more details on the team if you would like the leadership team is full of luminaries in the crypto and computer science industry so their approach guys is quite different than many of the blockchains we're familiar with and the most interesting aspect of this project is the pure proof of stake algorithm that mr silvio created this peer proof of stake consensus protocol is built on byzantine agreement this means the system can achieve consensus without a central authority and tolerate malicious users as long as a super majority of the stake is in non-malicious hands and i believe that is a two-thirds majority so i mean again very resilient blockchain and i think this type of consensus algorithm will fit very well within e-commerce and brick and mortar applications and that's really their focus they want to focus on that this is what this blockchain is for algorand also has a low cost to participate on the platform this means that minimum processing power and modest it resources are all that's needed to join all online users who possess algo tokens are automatically eligible to participate in blockchain consensus and lastly it is open source the algorand node repository is open sourced 
and publicly available for everyone to audit, use, and build upon. The platform is founded in principles of transparency, inclusivity, and collaboration, and maintained by a dedicated community with a shared vision of decentralized, borderless future. So let's look at the meat and potatoes of this whole project and it is this new consensus algorithm they call PPOS or peer proof of state so the difference between PPOS and proof of work is vast it's a big difference proof of work is an approach in which users race to solve very complex cryptographic puzzles we know that like Bitcoin uses proof of work Litecoin even Ethereum though we know that Ethereum is moving over to proof of stake but ultimately there are still drawbacks with even implementing proof of stake algorithms Mining with proof of work often requires specialized hardware to be competitive and consumes enormous amounts of electricity. Only professional miners who have made the capital expenditure necessary to buy racks of hyper specialized mining equipment can expect to make a profit. And in turn, what that does is really centralize the hash power in those types of networks. And we see it with Bitcoin. We see it with Ethereum. Bitcoin has three major um, if you want to call it mining pools that take up or constitute over 51% of the hashing power. Two of those particular pools are actually owned by the same company. <laughs> and I always show you guys these statistics on arewedecentralizedyet.com. So if you haven't seen it, please check that website out and you'll be very blown back at the state of what we call decentralization. So proof of work just is not going to cut it especially for um, blockchains where we're trying to transfer wealth for payments for you know goods and services it's just not going to work and on to delegated proof of stake which is the one i like the most at this current juncture this one to me fits and does the best with uh, a scale if you want to call it speed security and decentralization but ppos uh, looks to even be better than delegated proof of stake. They're saying that PPOS doesn't put a small set of users in charge of block generation and users do not need to delegate their voting power to the selected few. Every user may propose and vote on blocks with a probability directly proportional to their stake and there is no special group or users for an attacker to target. And many of us probably have not heard of bonded proof of stake which is another consensus algorithm and I won't go really into that one. You guys are most likely uh, very aware of POW and POS. So I just wanted to do a compare and contrast of those two so you guys can kind of get a feel for what type of groundbreaking consensus algorithm Algorand is proposing and launching here. I would really love for you guys to go to Algorand.com and under resources click white papers and you can read through the various white papers on all aspects of the Algorand blockchain something to definitely look into if you are more technical and if you're a developer out there you should really be excited about this new consensus algorithm on to the more about the token and how this is all going to take place the token is in an auction style and so the first auction was actually held on June 19th 2019 a couple of weeks ago at the time of recording with a total of 25 million algos sold at a price of two dollars and forty cents complete transparency of the auction results are also available if you click that link there just go to algorand.foundation and click the auctions tab at the top right corner you can get more details about that on this page you'll also be able to begin the registration process this may take several days so guys uh, if you're interested in this do it sooner than later but I do want to tell you a little bit more about how this Dutch auction style works so let's take a look at a video that explains that the Algorand Foundation is responsible for the distribution of the algo the native token of the Algorand platform algos will initially enter circulation through a sequence of Dutch auctions fairness is a core tenet of the borderless economy and the Dutch auction mechanism achieves this fairness in two ways First, the price is the same for all auction participants. And second, the market determines the price. Auctions are conducted on the Algorand blockchain for transparency. At every auction, a fixed amount of algos is available for a fixed amount of time. During the auction, 
the price of the algo starts at an initial price and periodically decreases until either all algos are sold at the auction's clearing price or the reserve price is met. Auction participants bid during the auction by specifying how much money they are willing to commit to spend on algos. As the price decreases, participants commit money. The number of algos that are definitely sold at the auction increases and the number of remaining algos decreases. Since the amount of money committed never decreases and the price always decreases, demand for algos increases with time. The auction ends when either demand meets or exceeds supply or the reserve price is met. If demand exceeds supply, bids will be fulfilled on a first-come, first-served basis. Everyone who receives algos will pay the same price per algo. Let's review an example to demonstrate how algo auctions work. Suppose there are three participants in the auction, Alice, Bob, and Chloe. There are 500 total algos available at a starting price of $10. Alice commits $250 at $10 per algo and therefore stands to receive at least 25 algos. Her bid drops the total algo supply from 500 to 475. Time passes and the price periodically drops without Alice, Bob, or Chloe bidding. The price then drops to $5. Alice now stands to receive at least 50 algos. Now Bob participates in the auction by committing $150 when the price is $5 per algo. He stands to receive at least 30 algos. His bid drops the total supply from 450 to 420. Time passes and the price periodically drops without Alice, Bob, or Chloe bidding. The price then drops to $2. Alice, with her $250 commitment, now stands to receive at least 125 algos, and Bob, with his $150 commitment, stands to receive at least 75 algos. Chloe commits $600 at $2 per algo and therefore stands to receive at least 300 algos. Her bid drops the total algo supply from 500 to 0, which clears the auction. At the clearing price of $2 and total commitments of $1,000, all 500 algos, the original supply, are distributed to bidding participants. Alice walks away with 125 algos, Bob gets 75 algos, and Chloe ends up with 300 algos in that order. So if you guys want to find out more about how this auction works, jump over to Algorand.com foundation and if you want to find out more about the actual project and its founders and all that good stuff go to algorand.com for that if that was not enough <laughs> if that was not enough the icing on the cake people and you will not believe this but this is the case algorand has a refund policy i won't go into the details of it you can check it out again at algorand.foundation but this refund policy allows you to refund your tokens without any question up to a year after purchasing them at a refund amount of about 90% of the original purchase price. It's almost a win-win. So you guys should definitely check out the refund policy with Algorand. They're that confident in their technology, in their blockchain to offer such a refund policy. I do have to point out though, there are some restrictions in the countries that can participate in this auction. You should definitely check out that list as well. Of course, the United States of America, the freest country in the world, is not available for participation. So I'm very sorry to have to inform you of that, people. I'm sure you're not surprised. However, if you're not in the United States, you should definitely look at this project. There are some other countries that have restrictions as well. So again, check out Algorand.Foundation for those details. But man, you can buy this possibly on uh, in the secondary market. Uh, if if you have to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick overview of this project, Algorand.com. There's just so much to talk about. I can't fit in a short video like this. So I really suggest that you check it out for yourselves. Algorand.com, a new consensus algorithm called Pure Proof of Stake, created by the scientists that created ZK Snarks. I don't think there's much more I need to say about that. Check it out, people. Algorand.com. It's your boy Crypto Blood, and I'm out of here. Holla!